Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, the look today is completely inspired by kind of current spring summer trends because the the main trends are copper and bronze and eyes or blue and eyes. So I really wanted to fuse the two together and then use some dramatic liquid liner to to separate and show the contrast. And um, this last week, actually, I had the most unbelievable week of my entire life, of my entire career, um, where I was in London with 60 other makeup artists from all around the world, um, and we trained together for a week, and we were with Lisa Eldridge for a couple of days, and oh my god, honestly, I've learned so much um, from them, and I'm feeling really, really inspired, so yeah, hopefully that comes across in this look today. If you like what you see, then hit subscribe, get me on Instagram, Snapchat, so on, so on. Yeah, and let's get started. So, what I've done is I've just prepped my skin and as a primer, I've used the Makeup Revolution London Pro Prime Water. Um, so I have literally just spritzed that all over my face. You leave it for a couple of minutes and it dries in. This primer is really great for anyone who's got normal to combination skin. If you've got drier skin, this stuff isn't very good for you. Okay, so, I mean, it's cheap, it's got loads of vitamins in it. It's an okay primer, so it's what I've used. For my base, what I'm going to use is the Lancome Taunt Miracle Foundation. For this look, I just wanted something a wee bit more dewier, something a bit lighter. Um, and this foundation is really great if you're just looking for a medium coverage, something that's quite natural, but you can certainly build it up for a night out. It's long wearing enough and it's really hydrating. I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Buff Brush, um, and I'm literally just going to stipple the foundation all over my face. Okay, so foundation all over, completely avoided my eye area because what I'm going to do is go straight in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in shade SX01. I'm going to take that right from the corner of the nose up to in line with the outer corner of my eye and at the hairline here. I'm going to take the Sensual Skin Enhancer right up under the eye and over my eyelid as a base for the eyeshadow. So you really just need a very, very small amount of this. My goodness, it's so so full coverage. So really I just take a wee dot there, a wee dot at the top of the cheekbone, and then I pop a wee bit I suppose in the middle of it. And then I go straight in with a, I'm just using a Dior Beauty Blender, and blend that right up and into the foundation. And then I'm going to take the excess underneath the eye and over my eyelid. I'm also taking a dot of that right in the middle of my forehead and I'm blending that out in a circular motion to highlight between my brows and highlight my forehead as well. Okay, so what I'm then going to do is just set over the sensual... The bleh, 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 bleh. So what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to set over the top of the Sensual Skin Enhancer with a translucent powder. This is just the Lancome Powdery Majeure um, 01 Compact Translucent Powder. I'm using a large Kiko 102 face brush. It's just a big flat brush. I'm taking my powder and I'm literally pressing over the top of the Kevin Aquan. So I'm not using big sweeping motions because as soon as I start sweeping what will happen is the um, powder will actually mix through with the Kevin Aquan and then it will start looking really thick and cakey looking. So I'm really pressing over the top to actually set it and hold it in place. To contour, what I'm going to use is the NYX Cosmetics Contour Palette, which is a really great palette. You'll see it's got eight colours, four highlights, four contours, and it is so cheap, honestly. I think it was like £18 or something. Um, I'm going in with the Blank Canvas F16 brush, which is just a very large, pointed um, brush that I think is beautiful for contouring with. And I'm just going to very easily sweep over all four contour colours, so I'm not actually using any particular one of them. And when you're contouring, I just want to give you a couple of wee tips here. The direction you always go in with your contour would be from the top of your ear 
to the corner of your mouth. So really in this direction here, okay? How far down you bring your contour completely depends on how thin you want your face to look. Okay, so if I bring my contour, for example, just really at the top of the cheekbone here, kind of in line with the outer corner of my eye, and it gives me a very subtle contour. But then as soon as I start bringing it down a wee bit further, then instantly what you'll see is my face looks thinner. Okay, it really is as simple as that. So the further down you bring your contour, the thinner your face will look. I'm literally using the tip, just the very, very tip of that pointed brush to blend down the way. I'm then going to do the same, take these four colours, sweep them onto my brush and add a wee bit just above the arch of my brow on either side, just to add a wee bit more contour and shape into my forehead. This isn't something you have to do, it does just make your forehead look a wee bit narrower um, and a wee bit more like you've caught the sun as well, which is never a bad thing, is it? And then I'm going to finish the contour with my Faithful Mary Luminizer and my Makeup Forever 120 Straight and Wavy Fan Brush. And for this look, I'm going to add loads of highlight. I really want a good, a good strong highlight to my complexion. It's the exact same with your highlights. So the further down you bring it the more contoured your face will look. And the complexion is done. You'll see it's really nice, contoured, really highlighted, really nice and lifted, which is what I think this look needs. Right, so I've done one eye now. You'll see, <laughs> look at the difference between both sides of my face. <laughs> you will see what a difference this eye look really, really does to the to the face. Um, it is quite a dramatic eye look, so it really would be great if you're ever going to like an Asian wedding or like um, a really cool um, club or something like that. This certainly, um, well, if you want to wear it for an everyday look, then go for it, it's completely up to you. But anyway, let's just get straight on to the other eye. It is a really easy look to do. It just doesn't look it, which is why I think it's great to show you how to do it. So, like I seen earlier, I took the concealer all over my eyelid. I'm going to go straight in with a Makeup Geek. Completely forgot the, the brand there. Um, Makeup Geek Eyeshadow. Um, and the one that I'm using is, oh my god, guys, it's unbelievable. The pigment in this eyeshadow is just like... Oh, it gets me excited! Anyway, this eyeshadow is called Flamethrower. You'll see here it is just a beautiful copper, but it's not just a copper. I mean, if I swatch this and pop up my hand, oh, look at that copper. Look at that copper. It makes Max Amber Lights look like a crappy pre-mark eyeshadow. This is the real deal. If you don't have it, get yourself out, get yourself some Makeup Geek shadows because they're like butter, they like butter to work with. Anyway, I'm using Flamethrower. It's really easy, you just take a flat brush. I've lost my flat brush now. I've lost my flat brush. Oh, here it is. The flat brush I'm going to use is the Inglot 29PO flat brush. You literally just take the shadow and pack it all over your entire lid. It is as easy as that. From really from that inner corner right around the crease to the outer corner. You do want to take this quite round. Don't take it up to a point or a, a flick or anything with the shadow. Well, you could if you want, but... I don't particularly like it. And we're really just pressing it all over the lid. Okay, do you see that? Very easy. I'm going to end with my Longcom number 17 blending brush and I'm literally just going to window wiper over that just to soften it out and blend it out a wee bit. Kind of circular motions, 
window wiper motions, whatever you feel you need to do to blend out that harsh line and soften it down. Oh my god, I cannot believe this eyeshadow. It literally looks like I painted my eye. That eye lid. God, you can tell it's been a long couple of weeks for me, can't you? It literally looks like I painted my eyelid in copper, like metal. It's. Oh, I just love it. Okay, there's that softened out. And blend it up. We're not taking it right up to the brow bone, we're just really softening through. What I'm then going to do is take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Deep End and I'm taking that right in to the waterline from the outer corner right to the inner corner. To be honest with you, you don't have to be neat with this. Slap it on, it doesn't matter, but also transfers under to the lower lashes because we're going to soften it out and blend it out anyway. Okay, so we've worked that underneath. <gasps> hello! Here's my boy! Here's my boy! Harvey's come to say hello! Oh, hello! Come on then! Come on then! Come on then! Oh, he's coming up! Oh, he's coming up! Oh, he's coming up! Oh, he's coming up! He's coming up to say hello! Oh! Oh, big cuddles, big cuddles. Say hello to everyone. Hello! Hello! Oh, he's tired, look at him. And look, he's got a nice wee mohawk in for y'all today. And blue bobbles just to match my eyes. Oh. Say hello! Say hello! Say hello! 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 <sighs> you lie down. You lie down here next to Daddy. You lie, lie, you lie down here. Oh, he's coming on my lap. He's coming on my lap. Okay. Okay. Anyway, the dog sitting on my lap wasn't doing this. As you can see, blue eyeliner underneath, copper on top, really easy. I'm then just going to go in with another mask of eyeshadow in the shade Burst. Any blue eyeshadow, I actually was going to use a Body Shop eyeshadow in the shade Something Blue because, I mean, you'll see they're very similar. The Something Blue is just a wee bit brighter, but the pigment... Ooh, the pigment wasn't very good in the body shop one, to be honest with you, so I'd rather go in the Vela Masca one. I'm just taking a small, fluffy blending brush. I don't actually know who this is by. And I'm literally just going to soften out underneath that pencil. Right to that inner corner of the eye. Pulling it right to the outer corner of the eye. Easy so far? So now we're going to go on to the main part, which I suppose is this flick that I've done. Um, don't be intimidated by this, it honestly is a lot easier. And when it comes to flicks, when it comes to doing liner, whether it's liquid liner or gel liner, whatever you do, I always find it a lot easier um, if you just take a black pencil, map out where you want your flick, and then go over it with your liquid or your gel. Because by doing that, I mean, it almost, uh, yeah, it takes a wee bit longer and it's almost cheating, but it just means that you can tidy up easier. So if you, when you're using the pencil, if you don't get the shape quite right, it's so much easier to use a wee cotton bud and clean it up than what it is to clean up a liquid or a gel. So the pencil I'm using is just a Lancome waterproof 24 hour pencil. But the main thing here is that it's sharp. Okay, whatever black pencil you use, you have to have it sharpened so that you could be buffy with it. Do you know what I mean? You could go out stabbing vampires with your liquid coal pencil because that's how sharp it is. I'm going to map out from the lower lashes, really the outer corner. And I'm just drawing my flick. And I keep looking straight back at the camera to see that both of them are going to be even. Okay. What I'm then doing is I'm going to follow up to where my crease comes um, around my lower brow bone. That's when I'm taking this line on top with my pencil.
So what you'll see is I have mapped out where I want that flick to be. So that when I go over with my, I'm going to use a gel liner. I'm going to use the Inglot 77 Pure Black Gel Liner. Um, but it's completely up to yourself if you would rather use a liquid liner. Really doesn't make a difference. I'm going to go in with a brush that I got in a, what are those shops called again? A craft store. You know like where like art students and stuff go to get their paint brushes? This is just one from there, it's actually for oil paints and I think it works amazing for gel liner. So really all I'm going to do is then go over that flick in gel and it just means that it's going to be a lot easier for me because I've already know what I'm painting over. You can stretch the eye out ever so slightly to make sure that the skin's nice and tight. Oh, Harvey, he's sitting on my lap. He better not budge now. I tell you, liner is not for the faint-hearted. I'm working that up and along my brow bone. Now it really is up to you how far along the brow bone you want to go. If you've got really hooded eyes to be honest with you, taking it in further will give you kind of like the illusion of a fake crease. So it's pretty good that way. I'm then just going in and I'm colouring in with the excess gel liner and kind of just flicking it down into the eyeshadow so that it blends. Which I know sounds weird blending a gel liner into an eyeshadow but that's what I've done. So now that that's done on the outside, which to be honest with you I would say is the harder bit, um, all I'm doing is taking the same brush, the same gel liner and I'm just going to work a wee bit along the um, lash line, just creating a very very fine line along the lashes. To do this you keep your mirror right there, you don't close your eyes, you literally just look down at the mirror and very lightly start to work it along the lashes. The mistake that too many people make when they're trying to do liner, especially gel or liquid, is they're like this and they're stretching their brows and they're closing or they're flickering one eye, trying to keep it closed or they're stretching the skin. No, keep the eye exactly how it is. Just look down at the mirror and paint it along gradually. And of course make sure you've got enough product on your brush. Harvey. Daddy's doing liner. Calm down. He's away. And people, don't forget to blink. Blink when you need to blink, okay? Don't keep your eyes watering because you're so busy trying to keep them open. Do you know what I mean? Just blink, it's fine. And then just go straight back into it. So next, false lashes. I'm just going in with um, Demi Wispies by Ardell. And we're just going to press them right on there. Yep, it's as easy as that. And then I'm going straight in with my Hypnose Mascara by Longcom, my all-time favourite. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to put mascara on the top lashes because those lower lashes are completely coated in blue pencil and blue um, shadow and I really like the intensity of the blue underneath. So I'm only going to put mascara on the top lashes. And then all that's left to finish with with the eyes is back to that blue Urban Decay pencil and I'm literally just going to mirror underneath the black flick from the lower lash line with the pencil. that's just really to intensify the contrast between that gorgeous copper and the blue underneath and really give the flick that extra wee bit of um, drama. For the brows I'm going to use a wee bit of the NYX Cosmetics Brow Gel 
Now, this is a new product for me to try. Um, it is very, very long lasting. It's waterproof. I know that much. But I find it a wee bit difficult to work with because it doesn't come out like a gel. It comes out almost more like a cream. So you need to use quite a wee bit of product and it dries really, really quickly. Um, so do be careful if you're using it. The shade I'm using here is Espresso, which is a very, very dark brown. Don't be fooled by the package. The packaging you'll see makes it look like it's actually quite a light brown, but it's not. It's very, very dark. So I'm going to quickly do my brows and then we'll finish with the lips. The brows are done. Just please, when you're doing your brows, if you're wearing a, quite a big flick, do me a favour and do not, and I mean do not by any circumstances, join your brow to the tip of your flick. And anyway, it looks horrific, okay? I've seen it, I know people do it, and it literally just looks like a big triangle. It's, it's awful looking, so please, please, people, do not do it. So that's the eyes done, the brows done, the complexion done. All that's left to do is finish with the lips because it is such an eye focused look. I'm going to keep the lips really, really natural, really nude. I'm just going to end with the NYX Cosmetics lip liner in shade Sugar Glass and a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in shade Sandstorm. They are both very, very nude products. To be honest with you, you can go in with any nude lip that you want. One thing I will say is that these NYX liquid suede, when you put them on, they don't budge. Trust me, you can have breakfast, you can have lunch, you can have a litre of water, you can have a couple of Starbucks, and your lips still don't come off. You almost need to use an eye makeup remover to get these off your lips. So, if you are in the market for something long wearing, definitely get yourself down to a NYX Cosmetics stand. So I'm just going to line the lips, pop this on, and I'll be back with the finished look. And there we have it, there's the finished look. Um, overall, I think you'll see it is a very dramatic look, but the way that the copper and the blue underneath kind of contrast is just absolutely beautiful and it will work with any colour of eyes. Um, we really have gone with quite a strong contour with a lot of highlight, but the lips just very, very nude, um, so that it is all about the eyes and the skin. So listen guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button below. Um, get me on Instagram, get me on Snapchat. Um, yeah, and comment below and let me know what you think and tag me in your pictures, so on, so on, so on. You know how it is by now. Yeah, so thanks for watching. See you later.